Mexico legalizes medical marijuana. Well, guys, it looks like we're the last country on the North American peninsula or uh, continent or whatever you want to call it. We're the last ones to legalize medical marijuana. And will, will the country as a whole do it? No. Nope. I mean, the way we're going right now, we might just roll back the clock to the 80s, except for add the new surveillance uh, and forfeiture situation we got built up in this country. I mean, Trump and, and company wants to run that shit like, uh, like some kind of uh, like mafia or something up there. And one of the things they're looking into is how they can reel in the drug war, you know, make it so it's like a full-on business. And one of the ways they do that is they, they make the forfeiture laws different, and they make it so you can't have accounts on Bitcoin. Um, I've seen something where Congress is trying to change some regulations and, to make that a thing. They make it so when you're moving money or assets around, then you, if you don't report it to them, then it's considered money laundering or something weird. So watch out, guys. Uh, keep Pay attention to what's going on. Um, the U.S. government under the Trump administration and the Jeff Sessions legal department, we'll call it, they're really wanting to ramp shit up. We've heard the, re the rhetoric from the DEA. We've heard the rhetoric from the Department of Justice and any other organization or federal agency that you want to name that can enforce a, a marijuana law. They all are saying that they will, all the way down to the TSA. And this is, it's ridiculous, man. And if you think about it, CBD is getting busted left and right now. I don't know. I mean, I said a crackdown might happen because why else would the DEA start talking about it? The FDA, they want to they want CBD to be something that's packaged in a nice little pill or something else where it's a single, you know, administer a dose by this and this is an exact measurement and it's always the same. It can be done, but it don't have to be. And we have other things going on besides just CBD. We have whole plant cannabis, which is medicine. So that's what they don't want. They don't want that to be medicine. Because if that's medicine, then the people just have something without their uh, interference and without them making all the money, monopolizing it. I don't even know what. <clears throat> you know what. We, I, you wouldn't watch this channel unless you either agree with me or you work for law enforcement and you're trying to pick my brain. So either one, you know, you're going to get it. You're going you're gonna to feel what I feel because this drug war has beaten us all up so much that we, this is the last country to legalize medical marijuana on this particular continent. If you talk about South America, there's only a couple of places there. Not sure if that's even true. South America is starting to legalize recreational marijuana left and right. Um, so I don't know. I mean, how how obvious does it have to be that this is no longer the land of the free? I mean, how free are you if you can't even smoke marijuana? If you can't even grow marijuana? And, uh, yeah, we'll get to that in Mexico. Canada's medical marijuana program has gone through some changes over the years or whatever, but as a, as a national program, it kind of still leaves a lot of things up to individual regions, I think. And when it comes to, to America, we just have a patchwork quill of different states. Like this is, a, you know... 1498 or some shit a decrease in or a decree issued by Mexican president Enrique Pen, Pena Nieto 
today confirmed that Mexico has legalized cannabis for medical use after overwhelming support from Mexico's lower house of Congress. Pina Nieto was once a vehement opponent of cannabis legalization, but has since called for a re-examination of the global drug policy after nationwide drug or uh, public debate on legalization in early 2016. So far, the solutions to control drugs and crime implemented by the international community have been, frankly, insufficient, Pino Naito uh, told the 2016 United Nations General Assembly Special Commission, or Special Sessions in April 2016. We must move beyond prohibition to, be, to, effect, to effective prevention. <laughs> what? <laughs> Effective prevention? Have you guys ever figured out how to do effective prevention? How about just doing proper education? So ridiculous. I mean, what is the, what is this right-wing bullshit where they want to prevent you, they want to try to prevent people from doing this and that? All right, last year, Pena Noito even went so far as to introduce a measure that would allow Mexican citizens to possess up to an ounce of cannabis without repercussions, but the bill stalled in Congress. Well, that sucks. The medical marijuana bill sailed through the Senate with ease in December 2016, and Mexico's lower house in Parliament passed the bill in April with a vote of 347 to 7 in favor of approval. Mexico's Secretary of Health, Dr. Jose Naro Robles, uh, voiced his support for the measure by saying, I welcome the approval of the therapeutic use of cannabis in Mexico. The decree was issued by the president today and specifies that the Ministry of Health will be tasked with drafting and implementing the regulations of public policies regulating the medical use of pharmacological derivatives of cannabis sativa, indica, and Americana, or marijuana, including tetrahydrocannabinol uh, and the stereochemical variants, as well as how to regulate the research and national production of them. This is sounding a little bit technically wordy. Um, come on, guys. <laughs> let's just legalize marijuana. Um, let's not jail people for cannabis. And what are you guys even talking about? <laughs> Piano Neto's... Uh, decree effectively eliminates the criminalization of medical use of cannabis. Okay, THC, CBD, and all cannabis derivatives, as well as legalizing the production and distribution of cannabis for medical and therapeutical uses. The ruling eliminates prohibition and criminalization of acts related to the medical use of, medical mar of, of marijuana and its scientific research and those relating to the production and distribution of the plant for those purposes stated the lower house parliament known as the Camara de de <laughs> I tried. All right. Currently, the only cannabis that will be permitted must contain 1% or less of the tetracannabis uh, THC. And the Ministry of Health will be required to study the medical and therapeutic effects of cannabis before creating the framework for a medical marijuana program infrastructure. Hmm, I don't know. What? There's certainly still... there. There will certainly be... Still be hurdles to overcome on the bumpy road to medical marijuana, but Mexico just surpassed the biggest obstacles so far. Whatever. Whoa. Okay. That's got to be the corniest thing I've ever heard right there. The only cannabis that will be permitted must contain 1% or less of THC, the Ministry of Health. We're required to study. So how are you going to really do anything with this 1% or less of THC? We're talking about hemp here, not marijuana or cannabis. Cannabis, maybe. Cannabis, is everything's really cannabis, really. But what are you doing, man? I thought you just said it was legal to do marijuana. <laughs> Medical marijuana. Decrimin he eliminates the criminalization. So what's the penalty if you're actually running really good THC levels? <laughs> so whatever, man. Um, Mexico legalizes medical marijuana. Awesome. Their program or whatever the fuck this regulation shit is here sounds a little shady. So we'll see how it pans out.